Across the crack, lads, your eyes do not deceive you. We have got a re-release. So this is the English League midfielders. I'm going to get into this in the live stream, boys, because I'm going to take it that a lot of people watching this video, uh, you know, obviously we had a bit of fun with the intro there. <laughs> Look, I'll get into it in the live stream, but for people that are coming onto this video and actually looking to sign these players and that they do actually spin, I am going to do just a quick overview. I released this video on these cards five months ago. These are from season one, I think, of eFootball. And uh, yeah, I mean, look, it's just, I, I think at this stage, man, it, it I'm going to get into it in a longer form of video in the live stream. So make sure and check that out. It'll be live in about an hour and a bit. But as you can see here, right, there's a couple of things here I want to talk about. We do get a banner, but we don't get a trailer. We don't get the re-release of the trailer or the re-release of any of that stuff. There was no announcement about it. We did think that Ballastudio was going to be coming because he was mentioned, but it seems like they're holding everything for season, uh, to, for the season to kick off proper. Now, if you are looking to actually sign these players, if you missed out on them the first time, if you've downloaded the game in the last three to four months, because these cards came out five months ago, if you've missed out on these cards, Makalele is quite good if you missed out on his booster before. Riziki's probably the surprise package here. He's got really nice player skills. Down as a creative playmaker, of course, and he's going to have nice speed and... Uh, ability on the ball he's a little bit weak compared to like the likes of honus and anybody that's played dream team man will know that the game plays in a certain way that there's a certain thing that that works yes you can play um at different levels and at different divisions and actually get results and stuff but as you go up the the you know the league and the ranking it becomes a little bit more um, prevalent that you do need certain players to dominate their position rather than just be good in their position that's if you're going for rank a lot of you guys and including myself will play this game not so much focused on getting, you know, 20, 30, 40 win streaks. But Makalele, again, really, really solid player skills. There's not really that we have to say about Makalele, boys. Even if you're a newcomer to the channel or you're a newcomer to eFootball, this guy has it all, man. He's one of the best players in the game. If you can put him in a double pivot beside a tall defensive midfielder such as Vieira, Reichardt, or even the likes of Rodri, who's a bit slow, Makalele can cover every single blade of grass. Honestly, he is an absolute demon. Brilliant defensive skills, excellent speed. That's all you need for a DMF that's going to chase the ball around like a dog chasing a bone. Honestly, unbelievable. Now, Beckham is probably the most disappointing. And me being a Manchester United fan, it's a bit frustrating that they have given Beckham a really bad booster, as you see here. So this booster is actually going to be down as a free kick plus two. Now, that's a strange one because it means that you have to pump in a lot of stats and a lot of upgrades to Beckham's speed and even his passing. Now, he does have some nice player skills. Let's not let's not get, get it twisted. He does have some brilliant player skills like low lofted, true passing, way to pass, one touch, and of course, the shooting long range, curler and long range shooting. But I just feel like even with fighting spirit, this guy playing as a central midfielder is completely wasted because he's no defensive capabilities. But anyway, this is the rank or the rate, the levelings that we've done for him. Obviously, look, eFootball DB is still being updated from what they've told me with the manager boost. Um, and that so hopefully they get it done soon. Um, but yeah, four into shooting, five into passing, six into dribbling, 12 into decks, and 11 into lower body strength. That is going to give you this base here that you see. And of course, make sure and check out our stream later today. We need to get into everything, boys. I mean, I am trying to keep it keep it kind of even keel for this video in case people, you know, have downloaded the game within the last five months and are actively going for these players. Um, I know a lot of you watching me will be skipping them. So, um, yeah, there's Beckham's build as well. 4, 7, 9, 12, 9, and then 0 into aerial strength, but 2 into defending. There's nowhere else really to put those stats with 36 levels. And then Makalele then as well. Listen, Makalele is an absolute unit, man. He's a beast. Um, but it just becomes a case now of, I do feel like they're ready, ready, ready to unload for the next part of this season. We know Battistude is coming, we know Big Time United are coming, we know there's a lot of stuff coming, but when will it actually come? So I do feel like we'll get into that in the live stream, and I'll talk a little bit more about that. But until then, boys, I will see you guys hopefully in the live stream later. Let me know your honest thoughts on this, man, and I will get back to you later, and uh, hopefully see you later. All right, peace.